everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a little game from Link called Make the Difference. Um, now, uh, normally, I'm, I'm kind of so-so on Oink games, but this one interested me because it's going to come with a bunch of pictures in here. You're going to be drawing little changes on these pictures, and then you have to spot the difference. I'm always a big fan of spot the differences. When I was a kid, there was a magazine I read called Highlights, and look at the difference between those, and they're in all kinds of puzzle books. What are the differences? There are apps that have them on it. There's all sorts of things. Well, this is, this, this is gamified here with Oink. Let's see how well it plays. So this game comes with lots of different pictures. There's 10 pictures with 10 sheets of each picture. So each person who's playing the game is going to get a different picture given to them. Um, so you take that picture, you'll take two copies of it. One is the copy that you will leave alone, and the other copy is the one that you're going to draw on. You're going to make five differences, and each time that you make a difference, you mark the bottom here. Oh, you also write your name here, so there's Tom. But you'll mark this each time you make a difference on that sheet. So everyone's going to be making them at the same time, and then you'll start playing the game. One person's the main player. They're going to put this clear plastic sheet over the one that they made the differences on and then the other ones here. So I'll give you guys a moment if you're watching this. Can you see the differences? Now the difference is you can't make a line thicker, but you can extend a line. You can draw things, but they have to be basically one line or one thing that you draw. A timer will be started while everyone is looking for these. Anybody who finds one will point to it and that person gets a victory point. Once the timer runs out, we'll flip the timer and do it again. The only difference is if you find one of the differences, then you get a point still, but also the person who drew it gets a point. When that's over, you're going to see how many points the drawer will get for differences that people didn't notice. So at this point, you might wonder where the differences are. I drew an extra leaf here on the tree. There's not one over there. Uh, there's an extra line on this building, which there wasn't here. Uh, I lengthened the main character's mouth from here. I added a line over here, which was not on this. And where was my fifth one? Oh, I added an extra window on this building here. This clear sheet helps differentiate that so people can't see the marks with the pen. It's a little harder to see them. Now, for each one of these that I got away with, let's say I only got away with one. This one here, the line. Let's say no one noticed that. Well, then we use this little boldness measurer, and this one, because it it's, fits in this section, is going to give me three points. If it fits in this one, it's two points. So the, the bigger the line you build, the more chance of extra points that you're going to get. And then it passes to the next person, and we go around, and everyone's going to get points, and whoever has most points is the winner. That's the whole game. As with all Oink games, my complaint here is the box is pretty small. Everything fits in here barely. You also might complain, I don't think this is as big of a deal as it seems at first. You're like, oh man, you're going to run out of sheets pretty quickly. But everyone has a different sheet. There are 10 sheets in the game. You're probably not playing with 10 players at a time. Let's say you're playing with six at a time. So you'll use only six of the 100 sheets in the game for six players. So that gives you... 15, 16 games with six players, which is a decent amount. You can buy expansion packs, which come with more pages, and I'm assuming you'll be able to buy more of these or print them out online. Do realize, I mean, the game is a disposable game to that degree, but that's really the, the biggest thing there, and I think you're going to get a lot of fun out of it. It is a small little portable game. It's a great little game for kids. I'm giving this game an eight for kids. Kids really, really enjoy it. And as an adult, I found it to be fun too. I like the little boldness meter here. Um, I, I think it's called the boldness meter. It's checking the bonus here. If it's bigger than the three, you get three points. If it's smaller than three, bigger than two. And it's, yeah, it's just, it's this little token here. And I just, I was just kind of amused by that, the boldness checker. Um, I like that. That's a cool little thing. It, it makes the person who's drawing not be such a passive thing. And these aren't that hard to draw. As you look on them, you see 
Well, it seems like they have dots all over this thing and there's a spot where I could put an extra dot. So there's some pretty obvious things you can draw, but as you play it over and over again, you might try to draw things that are less obvious. And putting this plastic sheet on top is really a stroke of genius because you can't really tell the marks that are made through this. It's a nice little setup. It takes a concept that's tried and true and has been around for a while, that spot the difference, turns it into a pretty fun game, has a bunch of these little one and five point tokens. I like it. So that's make the difference. I'm Tom, or yeah, make, not mark. Make or mark the difference, either way. I'm Tom Vassell, you've been watching The Dice Tower.